Hello students, today let us learn about eukaryotic cell organelles. Let us start with the introduction. Eukaryotes include all species of large complex organisms including animals, plants and fungi and protists. Eukaryotes are differentiated from the prokaryotes mainly by their genome enclosed in the nucleus surrounded by the nuclear membrane and the presence of other membrane bound organelles. The term organelles mean little organs and include membrane bound subcellular structures in eukaryotic cells and they perform specific functions that are necessary for the survival of the cell. Some eukaryotic cellular organelles are mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, vacuoles, lysosomes, and chloroplasts. In addition to organelles, the cytoplasm of eukaryotic cells also contains tiny particles called cytoplasmic inclusions suspended in the cytosol. The cytoplasmic inclusions are of many types present in different cells and include calcium oxalate crystals, silicon dioxide crystals, lipid droplets, storage granules of starch, glycogen, etc. The eukaryotic subcellular organelles and cytoplasmic inclusions are discussed as follows. First, let us see about the subcellular organelles. The first subcellular organelles that we are going to discuss is the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus, also called Golgi body or Golgi complex, is found universally in both plant and animal cells. They are made of 5 to 8 cup shaped membrane covered sacs called cisternae. In animal cells, about 10 to 20 cisternae are linked into a single complex by tubular connections between cisternae to form Golgi stacks, while in some unicellular flagellates, about 60 cisternae combine to make up the Golgi apparatus. The proteins and lipids synthesized in the smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum but off in tiny bubble-like vesicles that fuse with the Golgi membranes and their contents are released internally into the Golgi apparatus where modification of proteins and lipids or fats take place before exporting outside of the cell or transporting to other locations in the cell. Carbohydrate or sugar portion of glycoproteins are commonly modified by enzymes present in the Golgi lumen by adding or subtracting individual sugar monomers. In addition, the Golgi apparatus also manufactures a variety of polysaccharides such as pectins in plant cells and the Golgi apparatus also sort the macromolecules produced by the cell and target them for distribution to different parts of the cell. The next organelle is the plastids. Plastids are plant cell organelles and are of several different types. Leucoplasts are colorless plastids involved in the synthesis of starch, oils and proteins while Chromoplasts are yellow to red colored plastids that manufacture carotenoid pigments. Chloroplasts, on the other hand, are the green colored plastids containing the pigment chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B and are involved in photosynthesis. The chloroplast is bound by a double membrane and the space between the two layers is called the intermembrane space. Enclosed by the membrane is a semi-fluid material 
called the stroma that contains enzymes, DNA, 70S ribosomes, and RNA. The next subcellular organelle is the endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum, or ER in short, is a network of interconnected flattened sacs and branching tubules that extends throughout the cytoplasm in plant and animal cells and contains an internal space or lumen bound by a single continuous membrane connected to the double-layered nuclear envelope. Endoplasmic reticulum may be smooth endoplasmic reticulum or rough endoplasmic reticulum. The rough endoplasmic reticulum contains ATS ribosomes attached to their membrane while smooth endoplasmic reticulum lacks them. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum plays a role in lipid biosynthesis, carbohydrate metabolism, and detoxification of toxic compounds while Protein synthesis and transport occurs on rough endoplasmic reticulum. The next organelle is mitochondria. Mitochondria are road sap organelles bound by double membranes consisting of an outer membrane and an inner membrane. The space between the membranes is called the intermembrane space and the membranes surround an internal space called matrix. The outer membrane contains many channels formed by the protein porin, while the inner membrane is highly convoluted forming a large number of infoldings called cristae. The matrix contains the mitochondrial DNA, 70S ribosomes, and metabolic enzymes. Mitochondria are the site of cellular respiration. The next structure is cell nucleus. The nucleus is a highly specialized eukaryotic organelle that stores the hereditary material or DNA and coordinates the cellular activities including growth, intermediary metabolism, protein synthesis, and cell division. It is bound by a double-layered membrane called nuclear envelope, and the space inside the nucleus is a semi-fluid matrix called the nucleoplasm, which contains chromatin, one or more nucleoli, and other smaller components such as casal bodies, gems or gemini of quail bodies and interchromatin granule clusters. The next structures are the endosomes. Endosomes are membrane-bound vesicles found in animal cells formed by complex processes known as endocytosis involving the invagination or folding inward of a cell's plasma membrane to surround macromolecules or other matter diffusing through the extracellular fluid. The size of vesicles may vary and vesicles larger than 100 nanometers in diameter are referred to as vacuoles. Endocytosis includes three primary mechanisms. Receptor mediated endocytosis in which cells take in molecules or ligands that bind to receptor sites extending from the cytoplasmic membrane into the extracellular fluid surrounding the cell. Then, secondly, pinocytosis, in which a cell ingests droplets of liquid from the extracellular fluid, and phagocytosis, in which a cell engulfs outside material by stretching out pseudopodia and encircling any food particles into large vesicles. Endosomes are incompletely capable of breaking down many proteins and fats and they commonly mature into or fuse together to form lysosome to fully digest all their contents. Let us now see the next subcellular structure that is the lysosomes. Lysosomes are spherical organelles surrounded by a single membrane and their size and shape of the vesicle varies. The lysosomes contain the hydrolase enzymes 
that recycle organic materials of the cell by a process known as autophagy, in which they break down cellular waste products, fats, carbohydrates, proteins and other macromolecules into simpler compounds and then transfer it back into the cytoplasm as simpler molecules. The next structures are the paroxysms. Paroxysms are roughly spherical microbodies bound by a single membrane found in the cytoplasm of almost all eukaryotic cells. Paroxysms contain a variety of enzymes that break down toxic substances like hydrogen peroxide or other metabolites. They are a major site of oxygen utilization and are numerous in the liver of animals where toxic byproducts accumulate. Paroxysms can self-replicate like the mitochondria. However, paroxysms do not have their own DNA molecule like the mitochondria. The next structure are the ribosomes. Ribosomes are tiny organelles not bound by a membrane but composed of approximately 60% ribosomal RNA and 40% protein. Eukaryotic ribosomes are produced and assembled in the nucleolus present inside the nucleus. Ribosomal proteins combine with the ribosomal RNA strands in the nucleolus to form two ribosomal subunits, that is, the one small and one large, described by their Swedberg or ACE values based upon their rate of sedimentation in a centrifuge. The ribosomes in a eukaryotic cell have a Swedberg value of 80S and comprise of 40S and 60S subunits and 70S ribosomes consisting of a 30S and 50S subunit. In eukaryotic cells, 80S ribosomes are mainly found bound to the nuclear envelope, the rough endoplasmic reticulum or free in the cytoplasm while 70S ribosomes are present in the chloroplast and mitochondria. The organelles serve as the protein synthesis machinery of the cell and are more abundant in cells that are active in protein synthesis such as pancreas and brain cells. Ribosomes carry out protein synthesis in assistance with two other kinds of RNA that is the messenger RNA or mRNA and transfer RNA or tRNA. The next structure are the vacuoles. Vacuole is a large central water-filled vesicle and closed by a membrane known as the tonoplast present in plant cells. The function of vacuole is to maintain the osmotic pressure and turgidity of the cell and also stores useful materials and digests waste proteins and organelles. Vacuoles in animal cells, however, are much smaller and commonly used to temporarily store materials or to transport substances. The next subcellular structure are the eukaryotic cytoskeleton filaments. Eukaryotic cells contain three kinds of cytoskeletal filaments, that is the microfilaments, intermediate filaments and microtubules which maintain the structure and shape of cell and also helps in excluding some macromolecules from the cytosol. Microfilaments are around 6 nanometer in diameter composed of two intertwined chains of the protein actin. When microfilaments are first formed in the cell, actin appears in a globular form known as G-actin, while in polymerase chain it appears as a filamentous form or F-actin. These are more concentrated just beneath the plasma membrane and helps in cytoplasmic streaming to maintain cellular shape and in forming cytoplasmic protuberances like pseudopodia and microvilli and also participate in forming some cell-to-cell -cell or cell-to-matrix junctions. Microtubules, on the other hand, 
are hollow cylinders about 23 nanometer in diameter comprising of 13 protofilaments made of polymers of alpha and beta tubuli. They are very dynamic using GTP for polymerization and form the centrioles in 9 triplet sets and form cilia and flagella in 9 doublets oriented about 2 additional microtubules commonly referred to as the 9 plus 2 arrangement. Microtubules participate in the formation of spindle fibers during cell division and are also the major components of cilia and flagella. They also play a role in formation of cleavage furrow during cytokinesis and in muscular contraction along with myosin. Intermediate filaments are around 10 nanometer in diameter, more stable than actin filaments and are more heterogeneous in nature. Intermediate filaments are found only in some metazoan species including vertebrates, nematodes and mollusks. A specialized class of intermediate filaments are a fibrous network of protein called the nuclear lamins that lines the inside of the nuclear membrane. In vertebrates, most animal epithelial cells contain intermediate filaments consisting of keratins, mesenchymal and muscle cells are rich in vimentin and desmin and neurons and glial cells contain peripheral neurofilaments and glial fibrillary acidic protein or GFAP. They function in the maintenance of cell shape by organizing the internal three-dimensional structure of the cell, anchoring organelles and serving as structural components of the nuclear lamina and sarcomeres. They also participate in some cell-to-cell -cell and cell-to-matrix junctions. Let us now learn about cytoplasmic inclusions. Cytoplasmic inclusions in eukaryotic cells are non-living subcellular substances found in the cytoplasm. They are not bound by membranes and do not carry out any metabolic activity. Instead, they represent stored nutrients, secretory products, and pigment granules. Some examples of cytoplasmic inclusions are storage granules of starch and glycosin, for example, glycosin granules are found abundantly in muscle and liver cells. Lipid droplets or storage form of triglycerides common in adipocytes and hepatocytes. Crystalline inclusions like calcium oxalate crystals and silicon dioxide crystals present in certain cell types such as Sertoli cells and Lydic cells of the human testes and in macrophages. Pigment granules of skin, hair, retina, and specialized nerve cells in the substantia nigra of the brain. Let us now conclude the topic. Eukaryotic cells are characterized by the presence of nucleus surrounded by the nuclear membrane and the presence of other membrane-bound organelles. The organelles are membrane-bound subcellular structures like mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, vacuoles, lysosomes, and chloroplasts, and they perform specific functions that are necessary for the survival of the cell. In addition to the organelles, the cytoplasm of eukaryotic cells also contain tiny particles called cytoplasmic inclusions suspended in the cytosol including calcium oxalate crystals, silicon dioxide crystals, lipid droplets, storage granules of starch, glycosin, etc., which are not bound by membranes and do not carry out any metabolic activity.